people not only respond to the message, but they also respond to the messenger. It's the message as well as the messenger. I'm going to show you a few emails on my screen here over the next 20 seconds. And I want you to tell me what the message was and who's the messenger. Okay? Ready? <laughs> Okay, what was the message and who was the messenger? That's not fair, Steve, you went too fast. Well, that's how long people spend looking at an email. They're going to decide whether or not they're going to read your email in three seconds. And they're not going to read the entire email. So you need to quickly convey the, at least one out of the two, the message and the messenger. If you go and you meet with a new client, and... You're at the office, let's say you're meeting at the office, and you sit down with them, you haven't talked to them before, and you ask that person, while you're sitting in front of them, you ask them a question. How often are they going to respond with an answer when you're sitting in front of them? Almost 100% of the time. Oh, well, 99, so like, there's Looney Tunes out there that might not answer. But almost 100% of the time, when you're sitting in front of somebody, you ask them a question, they're going to answer you. How often, when you send someone an email, do they answer your questions over email? Not 100% of the time, right? It's not even close, especially if you're asking questions to an online lead that you never talked to before. Well, what's the difference between asking someone in person and asking them a question online? What's the difference? The messenger is in one equation, but the messenger is not in the other equation. Technology, especially email, effectively eliminated the most important part of our communications with our clients. Email effectively eliminated the messenger. So how can we put the messenger back into our communication? <coughs> Video email. You don't know the message here because if you're going too fast, but guess who the messenger is? At least you know a little bit about me right here. Let's take a look at the next one. You know the messenger in this one. Now you're thinking, okay, what the heck are they going to say? <laughs> <laughs> and you're curious, and you're going to click it. You're going to click that, but every time I've gotten a video email, and that, A, I clicked on the video email and hit play, but B, if that video email started with something like, hey Steve, do you think I'm watching the rest of the video email? Yeah, because they're addressing me personally, because this just added the messenger back into the communication, and I'm going to listen to the rest of the message, and I'm not going to skim that particular email. The visual element of it is just so powerful and it also builds rapport with your clients too. I'm going to play this message right here though and it's going to, it's going to blow you away the strategy because this is the third way. We talked about the four, uh, four commonalities of highly rated responses and we talked about how you can showcase a level of expertise, create a sense of urgency so far. This is creating a personalized follow-up. Watch this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Trevor Easeworth here. Thanks for registering our home search site at mystowhomesearch.com. I'm right in between some appointments right now, but I want to send you a quick message just to let you know that we've got your information, and somebody from my team will be giving you a call in about 10 minutes. I will also follow up a little later this afternoon. In the meantime, there's a few links down below the video here that you can click on with some information, and we'll talk later today. Hope to see you up on the mountain soon. Thanks a lot. Make a great day. Now, before I explain what, what he did right there, is anybody bothered by... The portraiture aspect ratio. Because some people are like, it has to be landscape. And, and I'm a photographer, my passion is photography uh, and videography to a, to a certain extent as well. Uh, but I want you to grab your phone right now and think about how you're holding your phone. How many of you grab your phone and hold it like this? <laughs> Nobody, right? You grab your phone and you hold it like this. Do you think most of the time when you send someone an email, they're checking it on their phone? or on their laptop or desktop. Or check it on their phone. So that, in my opinion, is the correct orientation to send a personalized video message. Because some people, uh, after I showed this before in a previous presentation, they came up and they're like, yeah, but you formed a, a film in portrait. You should never do that. That's like a faux pas. That's, that's not true. It depends on the intent. It depends on the recipient. But here's what's so <laughs> slick about this. The message maybe didn't resonate with you right off the bat. You're like, what's so special about that? He has 10 pre-recorded messages in the daytime, when it's snowing, when it's raining, <laughs> at nighttime, at the beach, at the mountains. 
And when a new lead comes in, no matter what system he's using, now he happens to be using BombBomb, Bomb. there's other systems out there. I use BombBomb Bomb myself, I think it's an amazing video tool. Uh, and I use that for all my communication, it's super easy to do. So in his BombBomb, Bomb, he has 10 pre-made messages. So when he's at a closing and he can't get back to a lead quickly, knowing that you have to follow up within five minutes or less, he just takes out his phone, selects it. Yeah. <laughs> and he hits the sunny message and he hits send. Now he doesn't say that I'm live and he doesn't mention the person's name. He just says, I'm right in between appointments right now. And I can get back to you soon. I'm going to send you some information. But what that just caused the other person to do? Reply and follow up. And now they, they saw his entire message. That is what's adding the personalized, the human element back into your email communication. Some people have a problem with that. They're like, well, you're deceiving you know, the, the lead. Not really. Not if you're not saying that you know, it's live. You're just in different weather. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't say, the, he doesn't say the, the person's name. He just says, hi, it's Trevor Ainsworth. I just got your, you know, your inquiry. Thank you so much for, you know, for, uh, for inquiring. So he has the messages, different formats, and that's the way he filmed it, like he's really in between appointment, a little shaky camera. I think it's, I think it's pretty interesting.